Hello Mulis, in this session we shall know uh, about Mule 4 bad job, how it works and how the records are processed and how to handle the errors and everything. Okay, so before starting this session, I would like you guys to practice hands on whatever I teach. Uh, please do practice from your side. So that's that's the only way how you can learn things. Okay, so let's get started. So I have created a uh, a simple project and with mule runtime 4.2.0 the reason why i am using 4.2.0 but not 4.3.0 is there is a small uh, you know bug uh, for 4.3.0 version so there will be an error that will occur saying that could not dispatch records to batch queue due to serialization exception that occurs only when we are uh, setting the accept policy as only failures i'll explain you that in our session but uh, there is also a fix so you can see the solution over here uh, to we need to apply a patch for that okay for now I'm not, I'm not going to do that patch kind of things uh, so that's the reason I am using 4.2.0 version to explain this batch job uh, so basically batch job the name itself uh, uh, indicates that the messages are uh, processed in a batch okay so for that uh, to start off uh, I have dragged and dropped the listener and uh, i am setting a payload with array of values like you can see over here one two a four five b c so it's a combination of numbers and uh, alphabets okay next thing what i wanted to do is previously in mule 3 we used to have three phases in batch job one is the input phase the second one is the process phase and the third one is on complete phase but in mule 4 one phase is excluded that is input phase we are not no longer seeing that the reason is in mule 3 we used to create this batch jobs in a separate flow okay and we used to call that separate flow using batch execute component but here we are we are having the scope of uh, having this batch job anywhere in the middle of the flow or private flow or anywhere okay so you can see here batch job if you drag and drop this is the very first step that you need to initiate for a batch job drag and drop a batch job okay now the input for this particular batch job is always the payload that is there just before our uh, batch job clear so this is a bad job you can name it uh, if you want okay so there is something called max failed records is zero i'll tell you what is that again in the process for now these are all the default configurations that you are seeing here right and when you are dragging and dropping you can see two phases only one is the process records phase the other one is the on complete record phase so there is no input phase this is the input for your bad job now again under process records you can see there is something automatically uh, placed that is nothing but the bad step so in process records you can place as many bad steps as you want for example if you drag and drop another bad step here so this is how it looks okay what will happen is whatever the batch of whatever payload we are processing over here after completion of the first batch step the output of this particular batch step will be the input for your second batch step likewise if you have one more batch step over here the output of the second batch step will be the input for your third batch step okay after processing it's not the yeah it is not like you know this payload is input for all the three batch steps no this payload is only the input for your first batch step whatever processing you are doing in this first batch step will be the input for the second why likewise the third step okay for now i am for now i'll show you only one batch step let's see in uh, coming uh, part okay so when you see in the batch step there are like three things name accept expression and accept policy so by default you will see no failures as the accept policy that means it will not accept the failure records that are coming from the previous payload so for now what i'll try to do is it is always better to accept the f all uh, in very first batch step you can keep all as the accept policy and the accept expression for now i am leaving it blank i don't want to so accept expression is something kind of filtering out suppose you don't want all you have a condition like if you want to allow only numbers you don't want to allow uh alphabets in that case what you can do is you can keep the accept expression over here i'll uh, this one also we can we will see how to give accept expression and all for now what i will do is in processor we have two phases again processors and aggregator processor is where you can if you have any logic like you know inserting to database or upsetting to sales for anything that process you can place over here aggregator is the how many processing things you are doing over here it will aggregate okay by the number which you give it will aggregate 
create the records and do the whatever you keep inside aggregator it will do that particular process for now for this small example what i wanted to do is i'll drag and drop a set payload over here in the processor okay what i'll try to do is i will multiply the payload that is coming from input with 10 that is my uh, logic in the process phase so you 1 2 4 5 can be done multiplied by 10 because it is an integer or a number but a b c will be failing okay we will see uh, those things as well in aggregator what i'll try to do is i will drag and drop a logger if i'm trying to drag and drop a logger it is not allowing because you need to keep batch aggregator component first and then only you can place the connectors okay well, you can see batch aggregator over here so under batch we have used all these three things right first we have placed batch job automatically one batch step will be created if you want to drag and drop more than more than one batch step you can just drag and drop uh, beside these batch steps and uh, final one is batch aggregator so batch aggregator you can see an error over here it is asking to give the aggregator size okay if you you cannot give one as aggregator size because it will not accept if you wanted to give one means it for every record if it will process okay if you wanted to give one just click on streaming okay if you see if you hover on it when a commit is set to streaming an input queue is paced in front of it the aggregator block will not be executed until all the records are in that queue okay so un unless and until if all records are present uh, it will not uh, you know uh, trigger this okay so for now what i'll do is i'll keep the value as 2 so that after processing two records it will just go to aggregator so how it will go is first it, it will go like 1 1 into 10 next 2 into 10 as batch aggregator size is 2 then it those 10 and 20 will be going into batch aggregator let's see more by deploying the application what i'll try to do is i'll print the logger saying something like uh, current values or i can use something like batch step one values are okay plus plus payload okay i can keep like string all right this is my application and on uh, on complete phase okay remember one thing always whatever you keep in on complete phase the output the final payload will always be the statistics of your uh, batch job okay when i say statistics it is nothing but how many records are processed how many records are failed it will give those kind of statistics over here but it will never give the processed payload here you, you might be seeing like 10 20 40 50 it will never give that payload it will always give the uh, uh, statistics of the uh, bad job and even the type is bad job result we'll call we'll see that when we are debugging so for now what i'll try to do is i'll try to print the payload over here okay so it is all done let me try to debug the application so that uh, we'll learn more when it is getting processed okay as i always say please also do implement from your side so that you know that's the best way to learn okay my application is deployed and let's see how it processed okay so let's wait for the request to come okay and now it is in my set payload the debugger point is in set payload let's go over bad job now it is on bad job okay so when it comes to bad step as our accept policy is expecting like all right so each payload will be processed see how it is going so this is the first value from my payload one okay it is processed next next value is two so after one and two values you will be observing that it is going to aggregator now because the batch size that we have batch aggregator size we have given is two so what is happening over here it is picking up two values from here then it is processing those two values then it is sending to aggregator so if you have anything something like you know upset or update statements you can keep it in aggregator if you want to send it as a batch okay next okay okay 
it is trying to print all right i got it because in logger we are trying to print something like this payload is an array so what i can do is i can remove it as string so just get over and you can see now you can observe that it is going to the another value the reason is one of the advantages in bad job is even if there is any error occurred in your bad job while processing the records in any record if there is any error occurred it will not stop processing the other records that is the uh, one of the differences between for each loop and bad job okay in for each if any error is occurred in any record it will stop processing the other records so for that what we have done we have just you know um, use some error handling mechanism like try and on or continue to process other records but here that is not necessary okay you have seen that in batch aggregator i got some error but again it is going to the third value so it's like a comma four batch aggregator will always fail because i have given a wrong code syntax there so a it will give an error here also the reason is we are multiplying into 10 you cannot multiply a string with that one right so next next so what will do what this batch aggregator does is it will process only the successful records from this particular set you know processing part you can see a and 4 are not going into batch aggregator it will see the next two successful uh, processed records and then it will go to batch aggregator all right so for now what i'll do is i'll just scroll over let's keep batch aggregator this one as this one okay i'll restart my application okay my application is started now i will send the request again okay now you can see the first value is 1 please observe this this part okay 1 1 into 1 1 into 10 is 10 next 2 into 10 when you come here right when it comes to batch aggregator you can see the values as 10 and 20 these are the processed records next it is printing a logger oops okay you called plus plus so we cannot use even this is another issue because we are using concatenating things let me Let me remove this. Okay. I'll try to print the payload. Okay. Let me send the request now. It is coming over here. So this time it should be successful one two logger you can see after two records it is again taking the third record in console you must be seeing here the values 10 comma 20 are printed right so next record is a a into 10 will error out so it will not count the, as a batch aggregator size okay this a is exclu uh, excluded so next to two successful values will be like four and five then it will go to batch aggregator you can see here 40 and 50 so a is not considered because it is failing so batch aggregator will only uh, take the successfully processed records from this processor likewise if you see here if you go to console you can see 40 and 50 so previously we used to have 10 and 20 over here here right 10 and 20 next one is 40 and 50 okay next okay this will also give error because it is b and it will next it will also give error because it is c so these two will not go to batch aggregator so it will directly go to on complete phase i told you right on complete phase the payload is nothing but the 
bad job result okay even the type of this payload is mule bad job result where it will give the details like what are the successful records you can see it is saying like there are total seven records one two a four five b c and or there are only four successful records which are like one two four five and there are failed records three which is like a b c so it will create it these are the things which we call as statistics okay it will give good statistics you cannot print that payload okay so it will it, as it is a, the type of this output is bad job result you won't be seeing its kind of object okay you won't be seeing it properly but you have seen that total we have processed seven records out of them uh, four are successful and three are failures so this is how bad job uh, job bad job behaves okay now what i will do is i will try to do this thing okay in bad step okay i will keep some expression like accept expression because as alphabets are failing to multiply with 10 because it is a string and string cannot be multiplied with a number i wanted to take the inputs only which are numbers for that what i'll do is i will say like payload is number okay this is a boolean expression if you give this it will error out because you need to give within mule expression uh, syntax hash and square brackets and say payload is number so what it will do first it will take one right so one one is number true so it is a boolean it uh, it resolved into a boolean if it is true then only it will pick up in batch step for a b c it will not so let's see how it behaves okay my application is started let me send the request now you can see okay one two it will go to batch aggregator three uh, batch aggregator print the logger next value will be four it will not take a you can see here right next value is four previously it took a now as because we are giving a filter expression like accept expression as only numbers that is the reason it is giving only uh, it is taking only numbers okay four five coming back over here it is like uh, taking two okay batch aggregator size is two so uh, if you go if you just hover as all records are processed successfully it is going to on complete phase and here you can see 10 20 and 40 50 are present okay if you are having six at the last it will not uh, so let me do that one also let me send it let me add another value like six at the last and see what will happen okay so as there are no other value right we are keeping batch aggregator size as uh, we are seeing batch aggregator size as two but there is only one record left then what it will do we shall see that let's wait for the application to get deployed let me send the request okay so one two go back to batch aggregator so you can see the modify payload over here 10 and 20 okay next is like four five expand it see it 40 50 next one is six you can see so as there is no other record so it will directly go to batch aggregator because there is only one it is 60 okay when you come back to console and if you check here 10 comma 20 40 comma 50 and 60 okay that's how when it is the, uh, when we are having only one single batch step this is how it behaves okay we have first earlier seen without giving any expression then we have seen accept expression okay all these things now I, what i wanted to do is i just wanted to remove this okay let's see so if you keep a batch step right if you keep a batch step after this particular batch okay let me keep another batch step over here so what i wanted to do is when i am removing this one that means when i am removing this expression right that means it will accept the strings as well right a b c so now what i wanted to do is whatever is failing in my batch step in the my first batch step i want to record them in second batch step so how to do that there is an accept policy again here right 
okay so what you can do is you can use this only failures so this is what i was talking initially when you are using only failures there is an issue in 4.3.0 runtime for that there is a fix but for 4.2.20 uh, uh, there is no uh, issue for this particular thing so what i am trying to do is i am pick i am taking only failures okay what i wanted to do i wanted to just uh, keep a set payload over here so only failures is that one is nothing but alphabet right so what i'll do is i'll say the alphabet is something to just show it okay if you want to keep a batch aggregator uh, you can keep it or it is not mandatory okay so i'll print a logger over here it's not, not mandatory to uh, keep you know uh, or even set payload i don't want to keep i'll just keep logger over here okay so that i'll see let's see if it is going to the second batch step or not i'll save this let it get deployed okay it started let me send the request so here one so one two go to batch aggregator next is a it will fail okay next one is four five go to batch aggregator next one is b which fails next one is c which fails and next one is six which is correct and which is coming over this log so next thing is it should go to batch step second batch step but what is happening it is going to on complete phase it is not processing this batch step why the reason is when you are dragging and dropping a batch job there is a configuration saying that max failed records is zero that means it is not uh, it will not uh, accept even one failed record so what you need to do is you need to mention the maximum failed records that you can accept for now what i'll try to do is i'll keep max max failed records as value as 10 then we shall see what will happen okay let my application is deep uh, you must be uh, getting this point so the reason why it is not going to second batch step is because we are not giving this max fail records value because previously by default it is zero it will not accept the failure records so my application is started let me go back next one two batch aggregator a it fails next is four five batch aggregator next b c will fail okay next is six which will come here now you can see it is going to my second batch step and what is going into that payload a is going there because this is the failure record okay a next one is b next one is c so what all records which are failed in batch step are coming into batch step 2 so that is how you can handle errors also for example you have error handling like you need to handle the failed records and uh, uh, failed records so this is the one of the best way that you can do keep a batch up it's not necessary you can keep it in second one or third one you can keep it at any place okay so this is c and it going to it is going to on complete phase okay can you if you can see here if you expand it is saying that there are like total eight records five are successful which is nothing but one two four five six and three are failed records which are a b c all right so if you see in the console um, you can see here right this is what we are doing the alphabet is a the alphabet is b the alphabet is c so these are the failed records so this is how we can handle the errors you can handle errors both in batch step by wrapping this into try block try catch block okay what you can do is you can keep like you know wrap in try block okay try block and uh, you can keep a file or you can write the files or whatever process you want to do you can do but this is uh, not necessary so we can just make use of this batch step so that all 
failed records can be processed over here. What if we are keeping again all here? Okay. Here, what I'll try to do is I'll keep another set payload. Okay. I'll keep another set payload. What I'll do here is now I'll do plus 5 for this. Okay. Okay, next what I'll do is I'll drag and drop another batch aggregator over here. Just drag and drop this logger. Okay, next I'll just try to print the payload over here and give batch aggregator a size as 2. Okay, here there is a small trick. So, here when I say like accept policy all, even all the values which are coming, which are the processed one, okay. It's not like 1, 2, A, 4, 5, B, C, 6. It is like 10, 20, 40, 50, A, B, C and 60. That's how it, uh, that's the input that it will come to second batch step, okay. But the, you, when you're debugging, when you're debugging this application, you will see some kind of uh, confusion when it, when the debugger point is going here and there. The reason is it will always run in a asynchronous mode from one batch step to other. Even in official documentation, you must be seeing that during the process phase, Mule begins processing the records asynchronous batch runs asynchronously. That's the reason when you are debugging, you will see how you will see a uh, you know difference uh, when you are uh, you will be getting confused. But don't get confused after completing this batch step 1 the, the processed payload only will be the input for your batch step 2 it will it will like 10 20 40 50 60 will be the input for this one along with abc because we are keeping all as the accept policy for this second batch step let's see okay next okay the input for batch step is 1 2 again the same process will be repeat you can see it is like is asynchronous okay as uh, as long as you know batch aggregator is done it will put into that queue queue is like internal queue you don't have to bother so immediately it is the output of this is going to second batch step okay 10 okay again so you can see again third record is processing over here this is all asynchronous process so this is occurred only when you are doing like debugging thing okay a here you are getting the second record as 20 okay next is like 4 okay so you can see sometimes it is so we have given batch aggregator size as 2 right here so what is happening over here is now in payload in mule debugger you can see 15 and 25 okay though the batch you know the debugger is going here and there because of the asynchronous mode but still you can see as batch aggregator size is 2 First 10 and 20 are the input for this batch step 2 which is coming from this batch step 1. It is adding 5 to it. So 15 and 25 then it will be printing in the will it will be printed in this particular logger. Okay. Likewise it will process all the records. Okay. Asynchronously but still you can see here next to two successful values are 40 and 50 and you are adding 5 to it 45 and 55. Okay. And last one is 6. Okay. You can see 60 here then it will print the logger okay all a b c are also coming over here you can observe that because our accept expression are all okay so you can see here 65 if you go here it is going to on complete phase i'll just show you the console over here there are like multiple errors also so ignore that you can see 15 25 40 50 so it's like asynchronous but still this what will happen is like whatever done whatever records are processed successfully uh, in the batch step one will be the input for the batch step two all right so here you can see successful records and failure records are the same next it is done all right so this is all about batch job so i'll just refresh what i have said like batch job uh, we have only two phases one is process records phase and the other one is on complete phase and next thing is we can keep as many batch steps as we want in our process records phase and the input for the second batch step will always be the output of the previous step it's like whatever input is uh, whatever input for current batch step is always the final payload value that is present before for the previous batch step that you need to understand next thing is you uh, you should be uh, if you want to uh, 
handle the records failure records and all make sure that you don't uh, make sure that you have to change this uh, configuration by default it was zero but uh, discussing with your stakeholders or architects uh, how many records if you want to allow you can mention that number that's how it is handling over in our batch step 2 okay next uh, couple of things uh, accept expressions we have seen earlier like uh, it is accepting uh, when we give some expression it should be it should return whatever syntax you write it should return into boolean that means it should return true or false so based upon that it will accept the payload values from here to here you can do that in the batch step 2 as well okay where but this accept expression is something like you can read data view and it should be within hash and square brackets all right the other thing which we have seen is accept policy if you want to accept all the records from the payload you can select all if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to use no failures you can use no failures which is default one if you want to accept only failures it will accept only failures in batch step 2 we have used this right only failures or uh, sorry batch step 2 we have given all previously we have used only failures we have seen how it got processed so this is all about a uh, bad job in mule 4 it is very easy and interesting please try to do hands-on so that you will get your hands dirty and you will learn more hope you like this session